Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my thumbnails. This was requested from one of my friends, um, Stargazer. I will link her YouTube channel down into in the comments. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. So you're just gonna need one plugin, which is called Already. Um, it's by Already Pros. So if you just basically go to plugins and look up load character. It's probably going to be the first one that pops up for you. Um, so it's... Yes. Um, yeah. So, once you have installed that, you just want to type your username down in here. So, I'm going to type mine now. Um, there is a more com complex way to do it, but I'm just doing it the easy way. And I might do the complex way later. But, you want to... Don't spawn it R6, spawn it R15, and spawn it at origin. So you basically just spawn it in and it might take a bit to spawn but here it is now if you want you can get a background model but i'd rather just putting a picture as my background but i'll show you how i exactly do mine so basically here's me yes and i'm just gonna put it put my character on the ground so i'm not floating and now you want to go you want to press you want to go to your workspace explorer or workplace over here and you want to click this little arrow that's next to your name to open up all your body parts and that stuff which kind of sounds weird but yes now for example i want to move my arm my arm my left arm so i want to click on my left hand my and my to click at more things than once you want to click shift and then click the other thing and click the other thing so Control, um, if you if there's something in between, so control if you want to click more than one thing at once. So, um, I'll probably put like the keybinds up there. But now you just want to move your characters. Um, uh, sorry about that. Um, so now we're new, and there we go. And then so we basically just want to rotate it. So basically, this is a no rig tutorial. Um, and then you want to, um, okay, so I'm just going to leave it at that. So you can move the other parts to how you want it. It's not the best looking because I did kind of rush it, but now you're going to need to download Blender. So, oh, well, first you've got to make a folder called like GFX or something on your laptop. Then you want to right click your character. So right click this and then go to export selection. Hi guys, so I realized when I was editing, um, it didn't show the whole screen of how to export it. So I'm just gonna show you quickly the first um so I'm just gonna quickly just import myself in and I'll show you yeah, I'm just gonna use the couch on the sleep. And so we'll just save it, put it in and I just right click and you just wanna go export selection and you just wanna go to whichever folder you made. So I name my GFX and just name it and yeah. And you save it. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Yeah, okay. Back to actual video. Okay, so we're now on Blender, as you can see. Um, so what you want to do when you first load in, you just want to click this stream to get rid of that like little ad. But what you want to do is there's you'll first load in and there will be a cube. Oh, by the way, I couldn't remember how to um download it, but in this I'll link in the description on how to download um Blender. I'm on 2.9. Um, but you just wanna what you wanna do is you wanna rag um oops you wanna press X on the cube and you wanna go delete. So once you have deleted the um cube, you wanna go to file and you wanna go to import. You wanna go to wavefront obj. So um so you click on wavefront obj and then go to the folder you saved your um your GFX in and you, you yours I saved mine as tutorial. So I'll just click on that. And as you can see, when it first loads in, you'll just be a gray blob, which it's actually really easy to fix that. But first, so to fix that, um, in your top left corner of your um, screen, there should be these three little circles. You wanna click the one, you wanna click viewpoint shading, which is the last one. 
So once you it'll just take a bit to load. See, it does that. And then you have loaded in your character in um, it. But you want to go to... Um, you want to go to this little TV icon. And you want to click Amblet conclu Conclusion. Uh, uh, occlusion. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Bloom. And then you want to scroll down, go to Film. And you want to click Transparent. So we'll be able to add in a custom background later. And then you'll just want to move your... Um, you want to move this little circle thing to um, to your character. And as you can see, it doesn't light up your character very well. But I know how to fix that. And of course, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So basically, just position it. But what you want to do is on your little toolbar over here, you want to click the light and you want to click sun. Um, you want to click sun, yes. And you just basically really want to point it out. Yes, right now you're glowing. But over here, there is strength. So, of course, you're going to bring that down. And since this sun is so is such a big strength, you want to bring it down to, like, 10. See how it looks good at 10? I'm just repositioning mine. And now you want to get your camera. So, we're just going to move the camera around. You just want to rotate your camera. Um... So you just want to rotate it using the rotate tool and just rotate it to face your character. And it might be on an angle like mine was on an angle, but you just want to move it and position it in front of your character face. And to check if it is right, on the little side there is a camera um there is a camera um thing. But anyways, you can use shift um and then this little squiggly line to move your camera around. So, um, so you can position it how you want it to be. And you use WSAD to position it. See, I'm just, like, positioning my camera right now. Um, see, I like it. Um, I want mine to be positioned there. So then you just click. And now you just need to, um, render it. So up here, it, rendering takes, like, it's super quick. So you just want to up here, it, there's a little thing, like, file, edit, and then there's render. You want to click render. And you want to click the first option, which is render image. So you're going to render the image and it will, it takes a bit, but it doesn't take that long. So it's almost done rendering. See, it's just, it's already done. And see, that's the result of my render. Um, and up here, you want to click image and you want to say, and you want to click save as, and I'm just going to save it to my desktop and I'm just going to call it tutorial and save it. Um, so now let's get into the next steps. Okay, guys, this might be a quite bad quality video because it's on my phone. But basically, make sure you have downloaded the um Google Drive onto your Apple phone. So basically, this isn't for Apple people who have a Mac, but shh, that's, the, that's the video. Um, But you basically just want to click on it and you want to go to the three dots up in the corner and you just want to send a copy. And now, um, you just prepare it for exportation, and yes, it's done. And so now you just want to go to Google, and you just want to find a background. So your background might want to be just like, mm, like I'm just going to find a background of the sky. Um, so I'm going to be do a pink aesthetic sky background. And yeah, I've already looked this up, but um. um so this will probably be the background of my thing. So I'm just going to save this one. So you just want to add it to your photos. And now you just want to go down and don't mind all that. Um, and now you just want to go to Ibis Paint. So now we're in Ibis Paint and you just want to click My Gallery. And you just want to go there. And you're going to um, not import a photo, but you want to have it on. You want to have a custom, oops, a custom, what's it called? A custom size, so it's si one sixteen hundred and to up to nine hundred. And you just want to press OK, and there you go. Or has a little um thing, and then you just want to import your background. So my background is this sky background. Let's press OK, and I don't want it to be that big, so I'm gonna blur it with just to keep it so. Um, it doesn't attract the eye. But now you want to actually import your ex, uh, your 
gfx. Um, so now I have imported my gfx, and there it is. Now, I want to add a few effects to this. Like, for example, some video photos have rays on them, and I want to have rays. So I'm going to go into my layers section, and I want to hide myself. <laughs> and I'm going to go to the pen and change the color of the pen to white. And I just want to go up here, um, the third option, the ruler option, and you want to click this one. And just position this to about the middle. And yes, I told you I wanted some rays. So you just want to add a new layer. And you just want to. But basically, it doesn't need to be perfect, of course. But you just want to go onto the layers and you just want to change the opacity down. So maybe like, it might take you a bit to find the opacity you like. So I want mine a bit brighter, but I want no. So maybe that's good. And then you want to show your thing again. And if it's overlaying that like this, you just want to grab these three little lines and just drag it. See, and now I am on top of the rays. So now you just want to um, go to text and you just want to add text. And you just want to like, I'm just going to like call it how to, I'm going to make this my actual thumbnail. And... Um, resize it how you want it and you might want custom font like this so you also want to go to text font and you want to go to plus and once you go on to plus I'm just checking if I'm still recording right now yes I am um there you want to click on the first website which is the fonts um so once the font opens you just like look around like I think I want to use this one and you just click the little download button and it just downloads. And I think I also want Peachy Mochi, which I think is super cute. So there we go. And they're both downloaded, so you just want to click the X. And now, web fonts. It should be in your web fonts. So, I'm going to just reopen my font, um, just to let it, like, reload. See, here's my new texts. See, like, here's one. And here's the, like, there we go. And I think the stroke is a bit too big, so I'm going to put down the stroke, like that, and uh, and I just want to, I think I might do um, peachy mochi now, I just want to change the sizing of it, but I think I made it a bit too big for my likings. And uh, another good thing is to like maybe overlay it. Um, for example, like this. Overlay like the text over each other to make it look a bit more nice. Um, but I want to change the colors. Make sure you use a variety of colors in your thumbnails. Don't just stick to one color. Like you can use the one color but change the sh shades. And I'm just going to rename it to how to make... How how I how I make make my and then I'm just gonna resize that and I think the spacing is a bit big so I'm just gonna like just put it more together stretch that out though how I make my and then I'm gonna make the thumbnails stand out so thumbnails. So I like my favorite font is Donut Quest, Delight of Candles or Sherry. And I'm gonna use Sherry because it's my favorite. Oh, I spelt thumbnails. Um thumbnails. And then I'm gonna do a like a super standout colour. So maybe like a hot pink. So yes, my favorite colour is pink. Um so like maybe that, but it doesn't really go, so I'm gonna like adjust it. Why does it still say thumbnails? <laughs> oh, so it just changed yourself. Okay. And it doesn't stand out that much right now. But we can, of course, fix that. Of course. Um, And maybe put some, like, of the texts on an angle. Usually I have way more text on my photos. So I'm just moving. I'm just adjusting everything to my likings. Um, But I'm going to add, like... I want to find some overlays, for example. 
So an overlay. So I want a butterfly overlay. So I go to search and I look up butterfly overlay and P um transparent. And I just want to go to images. And this is one I use the most, so I'm just going to add that to my photos. And let's get back into Iris Paint. And we just want to go to photos, and we just want to click this. And look at that. Adding a bit more depth to it, a bit so it doesn't look sad and lonely. And I'm just going to add a few of my these butterflies around, just to like give it a little bit of a look. Make it look a bit nicer. Um, like that. And I think I might want to put a border in. Which I usually do. So you want to go to frame divider. And you want to make a new layer of course. And you want to go to add frame. And you can just mess around with it for a bit. Until you find your likings. And I'm going to reposition it. Because I don't like how it's positioned. I want it to be behind me. But like not behind the rays. So like that. And then I might want to put in a bit, a few more emojis, um, no, um, little things. And I usually like using something that goes with a the theme. Um, so I might just look up blossom, um, like flower, and like I think I might, yeah. See, I have one already. Um, ugh, so annoying sometimes, and. I'm just going to re-add it in. Where is it? There it is. And you just want to, like, resize it to your likings. So I might... I'm just going to put mine there. And there you go. And let's just you want to click on this arrow. And you just want to go save PNG. And you're done. That's how you make your thumbnails. I hope this helped. And have a wonderful day. Goodbye.